Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Cameron Nation here. We're going to have a brand new video today. We'll be looking at the Arizona Cardinals versus Kansas City Chiefs injury report. With that being said, let's hop straight into it. Now, looking at this, you can clearly see the Chiefs don't have anybody on here. But moving to the Cardinals, we have Rondell Moore out, Cody Ford out, and Trayvon Mullen out. All three of these are pretty big. Okay, now Cody Ford, that's... We just traded for him. We need him. Trayvon Mullen, he's he was supposed to be that guy for us that can come in. But we did know that he was not going to play for maybe the first two games or so. And Rondell Moore injured himself, I believe, two, three days ago. And we do not know the severity of that injury. But what we do know is that he's out. So that will probably lead to the Cardinals uh, bringing someone else in from the practice squad. And maybe uh, Victor Bolden so we can get more receivers on the squad. But moving to questionable, we have Zach Ertz, which Zach Ertz, he's going to play. It, if he can play, he will, and I think he, he'll end up playing. Justin Pugh, this is where it gets scary because if we don't have Cody Ford and if we don't have Justin Pugh, this line is not going to look very good. Now, oh, they do have Frank Clark, which... Honestly, he might destroy us if we are missing another offensive lineman. And so we definitely need Justin Pugh to play. Hopefully he can. Then we have J.J. Watt, which we all don't want to see this. Now, J.J. Watt, if he's questionable, I think that means he's just going to play. That's kind of how he operates. But you still never know, and hopefully we can get through this injury fast because when J.J. Watt's on the field, first when he's off the field, it's a whole different Cardinals defense, and so we definitely could use him. And Byron Murphy, he's out due to an illness. Now, this one is the, probably the worst of them all. Byron's our corner number one, and especially with Trayvon Mullen not being able to play, we're not going to really have anybody that can really step up to a plate like that. And then we also have Antonio Hamilton out, so... Kind of need Byron to play, unless we want to make a move and go sign Robert Alford to somebody. But Byron definitely needs to play, and hopefully he can. Like I said, with this one, we also don't know the severity of it. But I, I think he could wind up playing. But we're going to have to wait and hopefully see most of these questionables playing. Like I said, I think Byron Murphy's the biggest one that we need. But let me, let me know down below in the comments your guys' thoughts on this injury report. And be sure to hit that like and sub button. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next one.